I've been watching a lot of Dr. Greger's videos lately, uh, Nutrition Facts, ORG, and he's got me thinking about vitamin D, and I'm kind of wondering if I'm getting enough. So I'm focusing on going out midday and trying to get as much sunlight as I can, sunlight exposure on my skin as I can, just to make sure I have enough, because the winter's coming up, and um, at the latitude I'm at, I don't get enough sunlight between November and February. So I'm not producing any vitamin D during that time. And since I'm not eating any fish or any kind of dairy products, I'm not getting it in my food. And I don't eat fortified soy milks or anything either. So um, I'm actually going to try supplementing this winter and just see if I notice any kind of um, any benefit from it. I'm going to try the, the D2, which is the vegan form. And um, it comes from mushrooms. It comes from mushrooms that are exposed to, to ultraviolet light, sunlight. And they produce vitamin D. D, a form that's slightly different than, than the form that we produce in our bodies and that other animals produce, which is vitamin D3. You can supplement either one. Vitamin D3 is more absorbable, but um, it comes from animals, so I'm not going to buy it. I'm not going to use it. Um, you can actually also buy the mushrooms now. They sell mushrooms that are um, naturally high in vitamin D2 because of they expose them to sunlight for like 10-15 minutes or something. And that increases the the vitamin D content, like I don't know how high, but it's, it's supposed to be pretty significant, significant boost. So if I can find those, I might try those actually. But I'm gonna take the supplement um, this winter, starting probably in about a month, and just see if I uh, just to hold me off through the winter. If there are a thousand IU um, international unit tablets, you take one a day, so it's like a thousand IUs a day, and of that I probably absorb, in probably not even half because it's D2 which is the plant form, but it's better than nothing. And um, hopefully I've got enough stored up, because I've been outside a lot this summer, and uh, hopefully my body just has enough stored. I was looking at some stats um, about vitamin D absorption, and apparently sunlight is, is by far the best route to take. Um, if you eat like a three and a half ounce serving of, of salmon, you get about a thousand IUs which is about what you need per day. But if you go out in the sun for 15 to 30 minutes, um, you can produce anywhere from 3,000 to 20,000 IUs, depending on your skin color and your latitude and all. Um, since I'm lighter skinned, I probably get, you know, hopefully closer to 20,000 IUs a day. And my body stores that, so. Um, I've never sat down and done the math on it. I probably should have done that before I did this video, but. In theory, if you're getting, you know, 15 to 20,000 IUs a day during the summer, and your body uses about 1,000 IUs per day on average, um, you can easily have enough to last you through the winter. Um, those of us that live at higher latitudes, though, above the 37th parallel, um, might want to uh, consider taking a supplement through the winter just to make sure you got enough. So I just did uh, 35 to 40 minutes out in the sun, and I am super charged with vitamin D3 right now. I'm buzzing on vitamin D. I probably just acquired um, 30,000 IUs of vitamin D3 in that 30 to 40 minutes I was out in the sun. That's, uh, to put it in perspective, that is 10 to 30 times the amount uh, you're going to get from eating fish or drinking the their liver oils, like cod liver oil. 10 to 30 times the amount. Um, that's The sun is clearly a superior source of vitamin D3. There's no other n place that can compare to it. No, no other source that can compare to it. Um, as a vegan living in northern latitudes, you're going to have difficulty getting enough vitamin D. And those are the people who really need to pay attention um, to their levels and to how much they're getting in their diet because you're not getting it, or in supplement form, because you're not getting it from the sun during um, a good portion of the year. Um, if you live above the 37th parallel, that's pretty much the line of demarcation. Um, you got to be concerned because it's an issue. It's an important issue. And that's actually for everybody. Um, I was reading somewhere that like uh, approximately 90% of people living above the 37th parallel um, should be considered vitamin D deficient. That's a really high number. That's more than vitamin D, vitamin B12 deficiency. It's even higher than that. Um, so, um, 
as a vegan, especially eating, you know, one eating a whole foods uh, diet, either raw or cooked, it doesn't matter. Um, vitamin D should be on your mind, just as vitamin B12 should be. You should supplement B12, no reason not to. Vitamin D, if you live high enough, you got to supplement it pretty much. There's really no other way to get it. You can get it from mushrooms, but that's still pretty much a supplement because that's the D2. Okay, so I'm going back out to get some more vitamin D because uh, the sun is awesome. It gives us free, unlimited amounts of vitamin D, and um, more is better. More is better. As long as you're not burning yourself, um, maximize your exposure. Just get as much as you can. It's good for you. Um, and this probably goes back to our, our, you know, our roots as um, primates walking along the, the savannas of Africa when we would have been exposed to you know, hours and probably pretty much a full day of sunlight. We probably would have had to seek shelter under trees whenever we could. And um, that's the result. That's why we have skin skin color differences that we have today is because of vitamin D. Um, when you don't, it, that's how important it is. Your body will actually change its color in order to get more vitamin D. So um, pay attention to that. Make sure you're getting enough. Most of us are not getting enough. And um, especially if you're vegan, you don't want to start running into problems and not knowing why. Um, just cover all your bases, take take a B12 supplement, get plenty of sun, maybe even consider taking a D supplement if, if you have to, if you live far enough north, okay, if you can't get the sun that you need. Um, that's it. Take care. See ya.